What's up, XOP family? Thank you for joining the video for today. We have here Jed McCallop receives 291.5 million XOP from Ripple, sells 10 million at once. So he's still receiving XRP, but he's also almost out of XRP. So before we dig in the video, guys, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this is a very interesting video which will lift your spirits and make you ready for the bull run that is about to come the big bull run for xrp it's almost time guys i really believe that i i, I feel it's july i feel it no one knows for sure but we know that almost everyone knows that it's going to be july so let's dig in here we have ripple fintech giant has moved another xrp lump to mccallop as part of the compensation agreement but this but his xrp holdings keep shrinking now here we can here we will um, let you see how much xrp he still has left and when he will approximately run out ripple fintech service provider has moved another large amount of xrp to jet mccallop he has received over 291 million tokens from the company here is the whale alert i will show you the official one also so we know that this is his account and he has left 631 million xrp and when he runs out guys maybe something big will happen when he runs out but i'm not sure if he will run out completely i don't think it will happen because these guys are related to big names and i told you before that he's related to rothschild and this is the reason he's dumping xrp because who would dump xrp if you know that this is the future well this is part of the agreement guys it makes sense he's dumping his xrp he cannot hold a too large of a portion of xrp if the price is gonna go to huge amounts this is just how it works there is other people in control and that's what's happening right now jet is about to finish selling his xrp back in 2013 if a year after ripple has started as open coin in that year rebranded a few years later mccallop decided to leave the position he was given a compensation of 9 billion XRP. This was an agreement. So McCallop was not allowed to sell all these billion dollars at once. So not to take the coin's price to zero because this will not be good for the ecosystem. Some in the community believe that Jet should run out of his 9 billion by the time September arrives. Okay, guys. And it's quite convenient. It's after the lawsuit. So we can see that everything aligns now, right? So... I don't think he will completely run out. I think he will leave some uh, XRP, but let's see. Guys, that Jet McCallum is almost running out of XRP is meaning that we're really, really close. So don't give up. Here we have the economic World Economic Forum Cyber Polygon. This is literally how they are preparing for a cyber attack. Now, guys, the last time that someone told us to prepare for anything, it was the pandemic and it happened. So you know how these people are, are working. They know what's coming because it's all in their agenda. So digitalization is accelerating everywhere. New digital ecosystems are forming all around us, creating unnoticed linkages across services and supply chains as the world grows more interconnected. The speed of development makes it difficult to assess the impact of change. What is Cyber Polygon? Cyber is a unique cybersecurity event that combines the world's largest technical training exercise for corporate teams and an online conference featuring senior officials from international organizations and leading corporations now why am i showing this to you guys is because there is something big coming as i'm always saying to you and preparing you because people realize something when it happens and then they're like oh shit i'm too late so guys don't be that person don't be like shit i'm too late don't be that person be the person who prepared for it even if it doesn't happen at least you're prepared for the worst right so please guys believe me there is something big on the horizon like no one knows for sure what will happen we're not the elite people we're not behind uh, some crazy conspiracy theorists but that's not the point we can all see that something big will happen so get your get your ripples of exchanges and stuff like that look at this guys wave and ripple design book july 23 2019 by satoshi nakamoto wave and ripple he literally named this design book ripple wave and ripple and it's it's officially by satoshi nakamoto so 
this is this was so interesting when I first saw it guys there is some stuff here it's really great great wave of Kanagawa Mr. Nakamoto Mr. Nakamoto Mr. Nakamoto on behalf of Satoshi Nakamoto and myself I hope you receive as much pleasure from this book as we did in the making of it it's crazy guys that's why this introduction is not signed with my name only with initials that are not my own they are related guys they are related recommended books satoshi nakamoto is the renowned inventor of bitcoin we know that here we have satoshi nakamoto is the re renowned inventor of bitcoin he had authored the original white paper titled bitcoin a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system implemented the first blockchain and deployed bitcoin in 20, 2009 as the first decentralized digital currency the wave and ripple design book is nakamoto's first book and the official bitcoin coloring book is his second now what does that mean guys you do the math you make the connections i will not do it for you look at date and symbol secure and private compute summit july 6th till 8th august 22 is 12 is 7 8th accurate with your timeline decode so this guy decoded something which is aligning with the 8th of july and it's quite interesting because mr Poole did another tweet and he decoded it like this so july 22 is 74 is 11 or 77 so this is checked and now we're implementing so these days are very important especially the 10th and 11th of july i feel that there is something very big going to happen within the next couple of days i know that we've been saying that for a long time but guys i think it's really time now to see some action here we have the summit that's ongoing right now and look who's look who's doing that r3 we know that r3 is related to ripple secure and private compute summit look at the signs it's exactly the same guys don't close your eyes on this because it's happening ripple pilots a private ledger for central banks launching cbdc's moving money on the cbdc private ledger will be cost effective reliable instantaneous 10k transactions per second 60k plus more efficient than proof of work guys this is how they present themselves to the banks and i will show you a video that they actually uh experimented a long time ago in 2016 with some banks now i will show you a video of that because it's really interesting so keep watching the video the cbdc private ledger is based on the same blockchain technology that powers the xrp ledger which means that the cbdc private ledger is built for payments now we know that this is just how they present their cbdc pilot guys can you see that it's amazing this is every bank would want to work with um with ripple the cbdc private ledger designed for issuing 5400 currencies including xrp which can be leveraged as a neutral bridge for frictionless value movement between cbdc's and other currencies people are starting to know that xrp is very crucial to the ripple ecosystem now ripple versus sc case what's happening it has gone a bit cold some in xrp community believe and that's true what are they doing are they preparing for something maybe I think it's very likely since no news has been shared with the XRP community about the Ripple versus SEC case recently, Twitter user Martin Volk has addressed the XRP community member who usually do that, wondering if this means that the lawsuit between Ripple and the regulator will continue behind closed doors now. Now, this is very possible, guys. What are they doing? We didn't hear anything for a long time right now, and we know that they're getting ready. To maybe announce that it's over guys so be, that's why i told you don't think that this will end in august or october don't think like that be ready before that be ready now do what you can now so don't wait for this sec to be closed when they say it will be because i don't believe that why are they quiet guys there has to be something happening right there after after they talked about the deposition of hinman it went cold what is going on be simple just move all the money another ripple partner another runs on ripple frente it's a spanish bank i believe or institution that uses ripple so here you can see guys they just continue to do that 
Here we have Ripple CTO slams regulators as Barclays blocks Binance payments. Now we told you a long time ago that Binance is having some trouble. Look what David Schwartz is saying. This is very important. We live in a world where banks protect people's money from being sent to place they specifically ask to be sent it. Where banks keep your money safe from going where you want it to go. Now, here we can see by starting his com commentary with we live in a world, he made clear stance on how such implications address much bigger issues. Ripple CTO's criticism came in response to the UK bank statement that it regards itself it's responsible to help protect their customers' money. While in fact, according to Schwartz, they simply limit their options and prevent them from choosing for themselves. Now, this is, this is a huge warning for, for a lot of people. Why? Because act now. Buy XRP now, put it on a ledger, and leave it safe. Because it, there may come a time that it will not be possible anymore to buy XRP. Maybe within a couple of days. Who knows, guys? Be ready. Central Bank of France is pressing government for crypto-related regulation as soon as possible. Now, remember, if you were watching my videos, I was doing a video that they tested CBDC five times and it went very good. It was successful. They tested it with another country. So guys, why do you think they want regulation as soon as possible? They want to start using it. They were, want to start using it and it's going to run on RippleNet, guys. I'm telling you. Governor claims that cryptocurrencies will dethrone fiat currencies in a matter of two years. France is moving forward with its CBDC plan and conducting more tests. See? They're going to do more tests and they want regulation as soon as possible. The Central Bank of Europe is working on CBDC technology at a fast pace. The bank authorities have already conducted a mock trial for CBDC called Project Jura. The test was based on crypto-centric services for the wholesale debt market rather than retail lunch. Project Jura has taken place in collaboration with SIBA, a Swiss digital asset bank, Luxembourg Bank, as well as Federal Securities Depository of Luxembourg. Guys, they are moving very fast. Be ready. These 12 banks, now this is the video that I was talking about. I will show it to you. These 12 banks used XRP for six months in 2016. Look what happened. Look what happened, guys. Uh, again, to tell you a story, three years ago, we actually experimented with uh, 12 banks uh, across different geographies who did not have pre-funding relationship with each other. We gave them a bunch of digital asset called XRP and asked them to use it to see if it works for cross-border payments uh, as a bridge currency. Uh, they came back to us after six months and they said, look, it works beautifully, but there are, we cannot use this. And there are two issues with, with this. Number one, it's highly volatile, so we cannot use it. Number two, my regulator will never allow me to use this. There is no risk waiting to this and it's too volatile. There is no way the central banks will allow me to use this. This was in 2015-16. Uh, so what we did was, we, and this is three, four years ago, before the whole concept of stable coins came into being. So we went back to the drawing board and came up with a new product, uh, as I mentioned, ODL, on-demand liquidity. Uh, and basically what that product does is, through that product, banks do not have to hold a digital asset on their books. They could leverage that product, connect with a digital asset exchange, which, mind you, is fully, ex fully licensed and supervised. Um, and then leverage that exchange to source liquidity in real time. And because the entire transaction happens in less than 30 seconds, because of the speed of the, the ledger, uh, the volatility risk is taken care of. So we removed the two big concerns that banks and payment providers had and almost productized it in a way. And then we launched the product uh, last year in October. So the meaning of this, guys, is that XRP had a working product. It was not perfect. Because banks said it's too risky to use this. So they took that advice. They built ODL on the mental liquidity so that they don't have to hold XRP because it's too volatile. Because they just use it for three to five seconds or, or even 10 seconds to make a transaction. So the problem is taken care of. And you can clearly see how he's saying that they worked with regulators. Why? Because he said that the exchange stuff is fully licensed. So the SEC has literally began a battle with it, which it can never win. Now, guys, remember, 
this is proof that they all, they are so far ahead of all the other cryptocurrencies because they literally tested with banks and they gave them feedback and then four or five years we're now four or five years later guys what do you think that will happen this is the official whale alert the 291 million that he gave jet miguel now look at this comment can't believe people still own this coin now you have to remember this is what the majority is thinking they believe the illusion of xrp is a very bad coin because of these things so remember you're one of the few if you actually hold xrp and you believe in its mission good article but we need an investigation by the ig as to why according to sec filings ripple should have known they were selling an unregistered security for the last eight years even though the sec didn't adopt that theory until december 2020. you can clearly see guys that this is a big show and once this is over xrp is gonna go to three digits at least so i'm telling you guys again be ready we've now been through four years of partnership after partnership none of which have affected the price of xrp even now with it being so obvious xrp is still trading under a dollar why because news doesn't move the price xrp will explode the time overnight only a few can see genie genius thank you very much for this tweet and guys thank you for watching this video i hope i cleared some doubt in your in your uh, mind and that you don't have any fear with holding xrp because you shouldn't have any fear it's very easy just hold the coin and you will be successful thank you for watching the video guys appreciate it see you in the next one cheers